we're going to dive in as we always do straight away. But today we're going to dive into the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, which uh, Sid has pulled up right here on the left side. What we're looking at is basically the price of Ethereum denominated in Bitcoin. So uh, rather than what we normally do is where we're looking at Bitcoin and all these assets in terms of US dollars. Now we're looking at it in terms of Bitcoin. So uh, what Sid has drawn out here is actually there's a, a bit of a bull flag. Uh, and we're looking for that breakout. A bull, bull pennant, I think, bull because pennant. it's like a wedge. So a flag would be uh, if, if you know, it was just like equal on both sides. So if it's like a wedge like this, then this would be a bull pennant, which actually we've been tracking this for some time. And I know we shared this with our members, Discord yeah. members a while ago, waiting for this to break out because see the target which we uh i think the last video we we were showing how you can measure the target you just take the flagpole and then literally copy this line over and that gives you the target the breakout point and it looks to be breaking out uh right now on the monthly and that target and if we switch turn this to the weekly chart let's see there, there it is and it did close above yeah. so it broke out and you know what what it's doing right now is trying to sr flip it so which means like bounce on support yeah so S I sr think is support resistance so it's resistance. trying to flip that support or it's trying to flip that resistance into support exactly so like and you know if, you, if you've been watching our indicators uh strength band on an uptrend acts as support and if you see it's hmm. like wicked right there so my guess is that for it it looks bullish and it looks to be breaking out my guess is that it's going to bounce here and then uh you know continue on its way up and the target since the breakout point is here it's like close to like 0.1 oh. a little above like 0.1 btc that's like a 70 80 so, percent move from where we are right now yeah so 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 I, I mean max you're 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 good at math or at least like better than me so like <laughs> so if i mean just to like estimate say like btc uh bitcoin has also started moving yeah so right now the price of bitcoin is around like fifty six thousand. so say like uh i guess if bitcoin were to continue and in our last video we we were tracking a bull flag yeah uh, which we'll get into again and check on that but like that target was around sixty thousand dollars yeah close to its last day so say if bitcoin goes to sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollars and this uh the ET, eth btc pair goes to 0 0.1 btc so that yeah. would make what Ethereum has oh, okay. $6,000. Yeah, so I, I think what we could think about here is in terms of like napkin math to kind of do this really quick in our head. Math. Yeah, it would be like, okay, if, uh, you know, we're looking at for Bitcoin to break up to 60,000. Uh, I'm seeing Bitcoin is currently around 56,000. Uh, I'll just call it 55 for simple math because we're napkin mathing it. Uh, and so to get to 60 from 55, it's missing about 5K, which uh, 5K is about 10%. Of 55 it's slightly less obviously it's nine percent but we're going to go for napkin math numbers here so about uh a bitcoin is looking for about another 10 percent uh price appreciation to hit our target if at the same mm. time ethereum is breaking out in terms mm. of bitcoin and looking to double its valuation relative to bitcoin then we could expect that breakout to effectively double as well in terms of us dollars so then we'd be looking for where Bitcoin would make a 10% breakout to hit its target. We'd be looking for a 20% target for Ethereum then. Uh -huh. So basically it's so like, say like I mean, there's more nuance was, to it, but like that's the quick, right. yeah, yeah. That's a quick way of doing it. So like, but the point being is, is that like now Ethereum, I know for the past, like this year, everybody has been kind of hating on Ethereum because it's been slow to move. Yeah. And, but now it's gonna, I think, it's going to move really fast relative yes. to Bitcoin. I agree. It's going to pump harder relative to Bitcoin if it continues breaking. And that's that's in line with what we've been telling uh, people in our groups and also just on our videos, if you've been following along. We have, uh, you know, obviously been saying 
it's time to buy back into the crypto markets a little bit, buy some Bitcoin, buy some Ethereum. And if you've you know paid closer attention than just the tertiary kind of stuff, we've been saying to bias heavier into Ethereum because Ethereum has a bit more of an upside than, Ethe uh, than Bitcoin does. Uh, and I feel like that's yeah. really exemplified here by this breakout of that wedge. Since if we do break out the wedge, then we're looking for a more bullish activity in Ethereum denominated in Bitcoin. So no matter how bullish Bitcoin is, Ethereum should be more bullish. More bullish, yeah. And we've been loading up heavily on Ethereum for the past. Oh, it feels fantastic. Uh, quite a month. I mean, yeah, like the beginning. I mean, last year we started like loading up on it yeah. while it was ranging. And that's the best time when it's before takeoff is when you want to load up. Exactly. Not at the peak, you know what I mean? Yeah. 